Hello everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we will be discussing 8th standard model paper which we have received from KSEAB board. So without delay, let's begin. So the first main consists of 16 multiple choice questions. Very first one, one of the practical application of artificial satellite is so among the options we have control of meteors, control of revolution of moon, weather forecasting, control of heat of the sun which enters the earth. So among four the correct answer is weather forecasting, the spelling has been wrong over there. Second one, football players use shoes with spikes because given options are friction decreases and speed decreases, friction becomes zero and helps to slide easily which is totally a no. Friction increases and provide grip with the ground, nullifies the friction between legs and the ground. So we want friction over here that is the reason why the spikes are present. So definitely the answer is C. Friction increases and provide grip with the ground. Third question. A student is listening the sound of the following devices which have different frequency range. So they have given you here PQRS, 100 times in 10 seconds, 200 times in 5 seconds, 100 times in 20 seconds, 5 times in 50 seconds. So what we are supposed to do here is, we are supposed to convert these into 1 second. So if I work this out, the first one is going to be 10 times in 1 second. So I have to divide 100 by 10. Similarly, if I divide 200 by 5 seconds, I am going to get 40 and 100 by 20 seconds, I am going to get 5 and lastly, fifth, sorry, 5 times by 50, I am going to get 1 by 5. So it is going to be 1 by 5 for S. So here, whatever values you have got, it is equal to hertz and our audible range is basically between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, right? So our answer has to be somewhere between 20 to the, uh, to our in between our audible range and here among 10, 40, 5 and 1 by 5, our answer has to be 40 which is nothing but Q. So coming to the answers, Yes, so I have got my answer, I am supposed to have my answer as Q which is given in option B and therefore my answer is B, Q. Now let's start with the fourth question. Observe the four planets of the solar system given here. So P, red planet of the solar system which is nothing but Mars, Q, largest planet of your solar system which has to be Jupiter, R, planet which has highly tilted rotational axis that has to be Uranus and S planet which has beautiful rings and that has to be Saturn. Now they are asking us among these four which can we choose to, as an odd one out the planet which can be kept out of the group and the reason is so first one given P because it is an example for inner planet yes Mars comes under inner planet and that this option is much fitted but let us have a glance at the next questions R because the density of it is less than water okay R has to be Uranus no so the answer is no S because it is a, it has only one satellite and we all know Saturn has got more than one moon lastly D that is Q so Q here has to be Jupiter largest planet it has meteorites. So again, it cannot be choose because uh, other planets also has got meteorites. So finally, our answer is A because it is an example of inner planet. Next, person, next question. A person could not identify colors clearly in dim light during evening because first one, image of the object is not obtained on the retina. Cone cells are not sensitive at that time. C. Only rod cells are sensitive to bright light. D. Eye lens is not converging the light rays properly. First one is completely no. 
because this your retina has got nothing to do with identification of colors so we are going to opt that out and the last one eye lens is not converging the light rays properly again this option cannot be considered because your eye lens has got nothing to do with your color identification coming to b and c we have got two types of light sensitive cells which are nothing but rods and cones among these two rods are known for uh, identification in dim light whatever we are able to witness or whatever our eyesight do we have uh, which helps us in seeing things during in the dim light is nothing but the rod cells but for color identification cone cells work better and they work better in bright light so our answer has to be b cone cells are not sensitive at that time next a student is conducting experiments by using the following substances in his high school laboratory the pair of chemicals in which pop sound is produced by reacting each other is so first one option given is hydrochloric acid and copper zinc sulfate and iron sodium hydroxide and aluminum sodium carbonate and magnesium so among the given four the correct answer has to be the first one that is because the pop sound that we receive is because of the release of hydrogen gas and if you observe among the four options we don't have a hydrogen free radical in any of the four zinc sulfate and iron no sodium hydroxide has got an hydroxyl ion which is oh which is so this has got oh which is different than hydrogen only our cop this first option has got a free hydrogen and that is the reason why our pop sound will come only if we select the first option so our answer is supposed to be first one that is a hydrochloric acid and copper next question observe the flow chart related to synthetic fibers given here so we have been given here p that it's like the main fiber plus q will give us bed sheet plus r will give us carpet so here p q and r respectively are option given are a acrylic as acrylic silk and wool so p has to be acrylic and q has to be silk and r has to be wool b polyester wool cotton nylon cotton silk and finally rayon cotton and wool so our best answer this is with respect to the test book you can find it in your chapter synthetic fibers so rayon is common commonly used for both bed sheet as well as carpet so p has to be rayon in bed sheets along with rayon they combine cotton whereas in carpet since it has to withstand uh, you know uh, it has to be more durable so wool is used so our answer is d rayon cotton and wool 8-1 petroleum product used to road surfacing among the following is so options given bitumen petrol diesel and kerosene so best answer here is a bitumen this is a very easier one next two electrodes m n so you can see here m and n of given testers here are tested by dipping in four solutions the name given are p q r s students need to concentrate here see wherever they have given options wherever they have you know extended your objectives they have used commonly p q r s again and again so don't get confused you know just imagine at the side four uh, solutions four beakers with the names p q r and s now bulb is not glowing in solution r then the solution is formed of these substance so among this four in a solution r the bulb does not glow if you dip the electrodes so what are the possibilities what r might contain options given tap water and salt distilled water and lemon juice distilled water and sugar tap water and vinegar so the first one tap water and salt are good conductors for electricity so definitely it's a no second one distilled water and lemon juice again it is an acid so definitely it's a good conductor of electricity 
So again, you know, so we are supposed to opt out from all the options given here, which contains an acid or salt. Next one, distilled water and sugar. Yes, sugar does not conduct electricity because sugar does not dissociate into ions. So this is a high possibility. But again, we should not jump to conclusion unless and until we see all the options. D, tap water and vinegar. So again, it's vinegar is an acid. So yes, it's a good conductor. So among this four, distilled water and sugar will not conduct electricity hence the bulb will not glow so our r has to be c distilled water and sugar next this is a direct question changes from lava to adult is called like these so which terminology is correct one embedding binary fission budding metamorphosis so definitely the answer is metamorphosis it's a direct question Species of plant and animals found exclusively in a particular area. So again a direct question. Options given endangered species, endemic species, protected species and tribal species. So answer is B endemic species. Use of manures. Manures is spelled wrong over there. It has to be a single N. Should be encouraged among the former, farmers because due to this Okay, so we are supposed, because due to this and you are supposed to encourage that definitely we have to find the advantage among the given four option. First one, microorganisms in the soil decreases. If microorganism in the soil decreases, it's a disadvantage, so it is a no. Second one, more oxygen will not enter into the soil. No, we need oxygen into the soil, these microorganisms need to breathe. So again a no. Rich plant nutrients are not available to the soil. Again a no because our soil needs rich nutrients, rich plant nutrients. Lastly, water holding capacity of the soil increases. Yes, this is your answer because when you add manure, your soil becomes more clay and hence its water holding capacity increases. Next question, speciality of biosphere reserve is first one, monoculture plants are present. Monoculture means only one type of plant which happens in labs and which happens in certain uh, man-made cultivated areas. So biosphere is, does not come under it because earth itself is a biosphere. Second one, local people, people is spelled wrong over there, can only graze their cattle, no. So you, if you are grazing cattle over there, definitely it's not a biosphere because biosphere is about diversity. Next, maintain the biodiversity and culture of that area. Yes, this sounds much more like biosphere. But again, we will not jump to conclusion unless and until we see all the options. Lastly, D, plant can be cut for furniture. No, again, this is a big no. So our answer has to be C, maintain the biodiversity and culture of that area. Fourteenth one, now the use of CFCs in refrigerators is prohibited because... So CFCs are not allowed to be used. Why is it? Damages the ozone layer of the atmosphere. Yes, this is much more like it. CFC is known for depletion of ozone layer. Again, we'll check the others. Causes asthma, cough and wheezing in children. Corrodes the marble of old monuments. That is because of acid rain and not because of uh, CFCs. Lastly, decrease the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. No. Yes, if it could be increased, then yes, you can count on it. But since they have given you decreasing, it's a completely opposite one. So no, our answer has to be A, damages the ozone layer of the atmosphere. Second last question, among you choose the right answer. An agricultural scientist suggests to install sprinkler, sorry, sprinkler system, again it's, the spelling is wrong over there, of irrigation to a farmer after observing his coffee estate in a hilly region because... So he is asking to install sprinkler system. So why is it? A. Availability of water is poor and water drop falls near the roots. You know this, right? Sprinkler system where the water is spread equally. B. Land is uneven and availability of water is less. C. Land is even and water evaporates quickly. Finally, D. Availability of water is enough 
and roots are not strong. So, the correct answer over here has to be B. Land is uneven and availability of water is less. This is again a direct question which is available in your textbook as well as your notes. Last question, among you choose the right answer. Observe the flow chart, spelling mistake again. Given here related to sex determination in man. So, a father and a mother gives rise to a child having 22 plus XY chromosomes. Then the chromosomes from father, mother and sex of the child respectively. When we say respectively, it has to be in the order given back. Father, mother and then sex. So, option given are Y. So, father, okay. So, father has given, that means the father has given Y, mother has given X and the, uh, may, sorry, sex of the child has to be male. Second option, father gives X, mother gives Y and the child is female. Uh, second last option, father gives Y, mother gives X and the child is a female. And lastly, D, father gives X, mother gives Y and the child has to be a male. So, let us just uh, glance first. Father is the person who gives you a Y chromosome and mother is the uh, person who gives you the X chromosome. So, Y, X and the when Y is present in the sex chromosomes, definitely the child has to be a male. So, our option has to be A, Y, X and male. So, out of 31 questions, we have finished our 16 questions. Uh, Inshallah in the next video, that is a part 2 video, we will be discussing the remaining 15 questions. I hope you liked the video and found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.